what what does ritual practice look like for especially for people who have threads of European ancestry who've been thousands of years displaced from a rooted reciprocal relationship with land, with ancestors. My name is Shante Sojourn Zenith. I am an earth poet edge weaver, attuning to primordial nourishment through the nervous system, creative expression, and relationship to wider ecosystemic bodies of support. I recently graduated with a master's in embodiment studies from Goddard College with a thesis project called Make Your Body the Prayer, a somatic, systemic, and eco-poetic journey tissuing the edge between nervous system and ecosystem. My practice draws on the support of embodied expression, relationship to earth and deep time ancestors, and the oracular guidance of nature beings such as birch, turtles, maitake mushroom, and the Mississippi River. And so one of the, the pieces that I'm still kind of threading together but that came through really, really strongly was this sense of um, the developmental process that happens in healthy cultures, the ways in which there is established cultural practice, there is ritual, there is rooting into the sense of the wider body then allows on a, on a very specific nervous system level for the developing beings, the children, to grow up into, into a sense of, of there being space for those experiences to exist in relationship to other humans. There being space for the relationship with the river and the relationship with ancient grandmothers, the relationship with dreams, the relationship with a particular tree, to actually be included as, as places of wisdom within the human shape of the culture also. My ancestors are Celtic, Nordic, Ashkenazi, and Slavic. As I attune to the organic rhythms of my body and my impulses for expression, I feel those wise-rooted ancestors singing through me and guiding me in the shaping of ritual practice. Most of us growing up, raised by condition within colonialism, colonization, these particular monocultures of perception um, experience this, like this simultaneous perceptual narrowing at the same time as this kind of um, actual like lack of containment, that part of what broke on a cultural level was this sense of scale, this sense that there was a particular different layers of membranes and containers around relationship where there was able to be reciprocity and an ability to, to have these intact feedback loops that were, were relationally sized. My experiences living with chronic illness and neurodiversity have been invitations into forms of perception that have been actively suppressed within colonial structures. I spend large portions of my time unable to engage in productivity, where physical discomfort or body sensitivity requires me to slow down to a different rhythm of reality underneath the pushing through of the dominant culture. 
Over the past year and a half, I have experienced the failure of the social safety net systems within capitalism, as I have been among the 70% of disabled people whose initial applications for social security disability have been denied after over a year of waiting, with the appeal process estimated to take at least another year. The kind of calcified structures that like, these oppressive systems that we're living inside of are are shaped from this unmetabolized uh, nervous system energy that in reciprocal relational earth-rooted cultures would have been metabolized through ritual and would have been metabolized through all of these different layers and webbings of relationship and in the absence of that these nervous system energies kind of pervade and accumulate um, and on a cultural level that looks like the the ways of organizing institutionalizing gatekeeping um that like can be thought of as as domination fields so there's this kind of residue that is existing um it's like charge that's just i mean and can you know can be like touched very specifically like where i live Minnesota Makoche, the homeland of the Dakota people. So many of the like the acts of genocide and cultural erasure are not even named, like are just starting to come back into awareness. Which for white people has so much to do with the lack of skills for nervous system resourcing and the felt sense of support from ecosystem and ancestors. The support I need as a disabled human in rehabilitative process is also mirroring the support that the culture needs in terms of tending calcified patterns of ancestral trauma and learning to access somatic nourishment for collective flourishing. Many of the deeply rooted projects that are calling to me are somatic and artistic offerings that are not inherently money-making but our medicine for tending to the fragmented systems of care within our community body. And moving as much as is possible, beginning to attune to this different shape of movement that is at the pace of the nervous system and is also attuning to the, the wider ecosystem, the rhythm of the earth and finding this, this kind of portal into this current, this sweet spot, this just right rhythm. And that once that rhythm, that current is touched and found, then there are these different possibilities for play for harmonics, for response to happen. And like field weaving can happen where we're, we're actually in like a co-creation and a participatory dance with this whole web of relationship. <laughs>